Hi, I'm Tim. Welcome to Watchbox, and thanks for logging on. If you love this watch, email me, tmasso at thewatchbox.com. It's in the description below. It is your purchase and pricing email question line for buying this or any watch you see on any Watchbox platform. Please reach out to me directly, email tmasso at thewatchbox.com for pricing details. Today, we are discussing a watch launched in 2018. This is the Blanc Pen 50 Fathoms Bathyscaph Contium Complete, the complete calendar. It is also a diver, it is also auto logerie, and it features a rare factory Bathyscaph bracelet. So, dimensions in stainless steel, 43 millimeters in diameter, 13.4 millimeters thick, 49.9 millimeters from lug tip to lug tip and end link to end link. 52.5 millimeters is the total distance across the wrist with a 23 millimeter spacing between the lugs. When we throw this watch on my wrist, which is 16 centimeters in circumference, it wears well, though I think this is pretty much the limit. You're gonna to wanna to wear this watch on the bracelet at least, on a wrist of my size or larger, so 16 centimeters circumference and up. That said, it's not as thick as I suspected, and you will find that at under 13 and a half millimeters thick, you may surprise yourself with the kind of cuffs that can clear any jacket to be sure, but also many dress shirt sleeves. It's very comfortable. This is a wonderful bracelet, and unlike a lot of bracelets that integrate great with cases. This one doesn't want to flare out and fight you. You can pull it straight down perpendicular to the case band, 90 degrees like that, to fit it around a smaller wrist that might be borderline for fit. Now, taking a quick look, you can see this is not the X71 bracelet of the standard 50 Fathoms. This is a design that's unique to the Bathyscaphs, and it's all satin subdued. There's very little polished metal on this watch. You can also see that there are plenty of gaps between the links, so this vents exceptionally well on a hot day. Far better better than the X71. Taking a quick look, you can see, as with Zinn, which is a German sports watch maker, we have Blanc Pan using hex screws to fix bracelet links. And the reason for that is that hex screws can take more torque before they strip off. That preserves the screw heads, but it also helps to keep the bracelet together. And you can see that we have both full-sized links and intermediate-sized links in case you're in between sizes in order to ensure you're gonna get a good fit. Now we have a double fold deployment here. You can see it's a non-sequential close. Either side can close before the other. There's your logo. And of course we have twin trigger release, satination internally. The twin trigger release ensures it's not going to pop open accidentally. Rolling back to the case, this is not strictly speaking an integrated bracelet like you'll find on a Royal Oak or a Nautilus. It's more like the kind of integration you see on an Omega or a Rolex where the last link in the bracelet mates to the profile of the case to close everything up. The Bathyscaph, as we know it today, debuted back in 2013 as a more vintage-inspired modern 50 Fathoms compared to the more contemporary 5015 series. So we have these squared-off lugs, a minimal bevel, on the side. We have a big crown with no crown guards. We've got a bezel that has a very refined 120 click action. Let's see how well we can hear it through the mic in the phone here. It's quite pronounced and satisfying. It also has a level of refinement that you won't obtain in, say, a Omega Seamaster. So this is a watch with a bezel that has a sharp knurling at its edge, which makes it easy to grip if your hands are wet, sweaty, or gloved. Then we've got the luminescent pearl. We've got a ceramic insert for scratch resistance. We'll do a quick loom shot here. Remember right now, the minute and hour hands are partially superimposed. So that's why you don't see them distinctly. You can also see that we have a loomed seconds hand. Now I think the seconds hand on every dive watch should be looms because you should know if your watch is running in the dark and in the depths. Not every dive watch does that, but Blanc Pen does. And, of course, we have a zero to 60 minute count-up timer, courtesy of the timing bezel, which saves you all of the expense of buying and servicing a chronograph. The dial's upscale. This is the part of the watch where it feels most modern. The exterior might pay lip service to antiquity, but on the dial, everything's contemporary. White gold hands, white gold applique indices, a lovely ardoise or anthracite metallic sunburst. You could see that the day and the month discs are the same color. We have a lunette style radial date indicator, a little moon phase and a crescent style aperture with a romantic man in the moon face. And then of course we have three primary colors here. We've got the color of the loom, the color of the dial, and then a splash of red on the second sand in the lunette with a little bit of blue in the aperture for the moon. It does not feature hacking seconds because this is based on the 1151 architecture rather than the 1315 that you find on the standard 
a 5015 model, but still, we're talking about high-end finish with uh, solarization across the bridges. You could see the mirrored anglage lighting up on the edges of the bridges, probably started by mechanical means, but finished using handheld buffing tools to create that mirrored shine that milling machines by themselves are not able to create. All screw heads are black polished with chamfered slots and circumference. We have media blasting satination and then mirror beveling on the edge of the winding mass. Solarization on the bearing that mounts the rotor. By the way, the watch does feature two mainspring barrels, automatic winding with a three-day power reserve. This is caliber 6654, and it is again based on the 1151 architecture. It beats away at four hertz, so it has a modern beat rate. It is free sprung, adjusted in six positions, one more than a standard chronometer, so it's durable and precise, and it has an anti-magnetic silicon hairspring to protect it from powerful magnetic forces. You could see that although there are large flat expanses of bridge, they're all nicely detailed, and everything here speaks to the autologerie commitment of the Blancpain brand today. And once more, 300 meters water resistant with a complete calendar. Reach out to Team Also at thewatchbox.com for purchase and pricing details.